Hey guys, this is Nina. Today we are going to talk about what happens when you apply acrylic paint inside of your house onto your internal walls. All right, so what we are looking at here are internal walls of one of the rooms in our house. Um, and you're probably looking at this wondering, what in the world is that? Okay, so let me try to explain why I keep saying that acrylic paint is really the worst thing that you should put in, you know, onto your walls ever. I keep telling people, please never, never put acrylic paint onto your internal walls, onto your external walls. Just don't ever even buy acrylic paint. Okay. Why? You're probably like wondering, but why? That's acrylic paint is basically the only thing available in stores and that's what everybody's using and it, there's no way they could be selling something that's actually bad for my house because that's what everybody's using and the, what everybody's selling and blah blah blah. And the reason why you should never, never ever apply acrylic paint onto your internal walls in your house is this. What are we looking at here? Mold, moisture, accumulation of moisture, mold, mold fungus around this window and you're probably wondering like what the heck is that? How, how how did that happen, right? Okay, so let me tell you how that happened. So you see, this room had uh, drywall, right? So we uh, we purchased this house, and the house was you know drywalled on the inside. It was 1940s house, built in 1949, and it is a concrete block house, right? So on the inside, internal walls had plaster. Um, painted with lime wash and um, it looked great you know it worked perfectly for Florida whoever built the house in 1940s was a you know a pretty smart person um, they did pretty much everything right you know mostly but in the last couple of decades um, um, owners of the house have been applying layers of acrylic paint onto those walls as well as um, you know sealing those walls with drywall so what we did when we moved in you know because it is 1940s house concrete block um, we immediately started removing drywall and when we removed drywall from those walls we saw this basically a lot of mold accumulation of um, various types of mold bacteria um, you know that is not good if you find stuff like that in your house anywhere in generally speaking this kind of stuff is not good okay that that's all you need to know all right, so now you are looking at this and you're like, but how can this happen? Everyone has drywall inside of their house and, um, you know, drywall is the most popular, the most amazing thing that, you know, people are using, makes construction super easy, convenient, very fast, and all these other um, things that, um, you know, um, that you think is happening. But it's not. Okay, so drywall is actually very, very bad. Uh, it's one of the worst things you can put inside of your house, as well as acrylic paint. But we are not going to talk about drywall today. That is going to be a whole other video. All right, today we are talking about acrylic paint. So what happened on this wall, let me just um, give you a close-up, okay? Um, this is a concrete block, and uh, this part here was the plaster lime plaster um you know painted with lime wash and this pink thing was actually pink lime wash applied in 1949 when this house was built so basically this room initially was pink in color 
I mean, it, it, it is kind of kind of a hideous color, but I guess in 1950s people loved having pink rooms. So anyway, so whoever moved in after that painted the, this wall green. Uh, they put green um, acrylic paint, you know, and uh, the room suddenly became green. So they were like, yeah, okay, the room looks better, it's not pink anymore, you know, we got rid of that hideous pink color. And uh, then, I don't know when that was, maybe the same year when they <laughs> painted the wall or maybe a few decades later, whatever, they were like, oh, maybe we should put drywall onto that wall and um, insulate the house, make the house, you know, healthy, beautiful, whatever. Okay, whatever their reasoning was. And that's what they did. They put drywall on top of this wall. So what happened was the following. Okay. When they put drywall onto previously um, painted wall with acrylic paint, they basically created the worst moisture accumulation um, situation that you can create um, inside of your house. They, that was the worst thing that they could have done. And what started happening was the following. Okay, moisture naturally gets inside of your house. Um, you know, unless your house is um, extremely well insulated slab, whatever, you know, then maybe you will not have any moisture, but honestly, you will mostly have a moisture if you live in Florida, okay? You live in Florida, you just gotta deal with it, okay? I mean, you're gonna have moisture inside of your house the moment you open your doors, you get inside of your house, you open a window, you take a shower, regardless of whether it's raining outside or if the moisture naturally came in through the concrete block and got inside of the wall, you will have a moisture inside of your house, okay? There, that's just how it is. And what happened was basically this wall got wet. Water, moisture um, got inside of the concrete block and it could not get out, right? And, and it was there just sealed inside of that wall for decades. All right, so um, the initial uh, builder was pretty smart. He used lime wash okay you see this pink thing that was lime wash and um lime wash was wonderful because it kept the wall dry um you know it it prevented uh, mold mold uh, formation on the surface of the wall and kept the wall breathable and absolutely perfect so then what happened um, these folks, they decided to apply acrylic paint onto this wall and then they sealed it with drywall. And then all this moisture that was trapped inside of that concrete block had to find a way to somehow get out of the wall and started creating mold. So the reason why most of the mold formed around the window is because this is where most of the moisture gets inside of your house. You open a window, you know, you get some fresh air in. And since this is Florida, you will have a lot of moisture um, inside of your house, you know, unless you never ever leave your house. But even then, you will have a moisture because you are breathing, okay? So, um, so basically that's what happened. Uh, this wall could not breathe, could not um, dry out and uh, it started forming mold. Um, so all of this black, dirty looking stuff is mold that formed around this window on the wall, um, you know, and um, made this whole wall look black. I don't know, it's like I'm filming this with a cell phone, so it's not the greatest thing in the world. But anyway, you, you get the idea. Okay, so you're like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. We were told that acrylic paint is the best thing in the world. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's using it. What is wrong with you? All right, so you're probably wondering, like, no, this woman has no idea what the heck she's talking about. 
So I just wanted to show you like why I'm sure that this is acrylic paint. All right, so look at this. All right. So when you spray a wall with water and you see water dripping down this fast, this is plastic. Okay, this is very, very, very much so um, uh, plastic. All right, now look at this part here. See, this pink thing is actually soaking it in. Now you can't, it's kind of, I don't know if it's that very, very um, well visible, but you know, anyway, there's a big difference. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you spray concrete block with water. Uh, this is 1940s block, so basically it will take moisture in um, and, um, you know, eventually release it out. Okay, so that's how you know. If you ever wonder whether you have lime wash on, on your house or um, acrylic paint, this is how you know, right? You spray it with water and it's dripping down really fast. This is plastic. You see this here, this green thing was another layer of acrylic paint and this uh, very dark green thing was uh, lime wash. Um, green mineral tinted lime wash on the um, inside of the house and this room initially was uh, green in color and then got painted with um, uh, green either latex or acrylic paint and then with um, shade of uh, pink acrylic paint. So um, these are leftovers of um, original lime wash on the top and then the second layer is latex or acrylic paint and then the third layer was another layer of uh, pink either latex or acrylic paint okay so basically this is how you know for sure that you are dealing with either um, acrylic or lime wash just spray it okay see the concrete block will look like this when you spray it acrylic paint no like you spray it all of the water will drip down so this is how you know okay so basically um i just wanted to show you in this video what happens when you put drywall onto your wall that has been painted with acrylic paint on top of lime washed surface um so this is something that you should not do ever Meaning, um, if you have a house that has been lime washed and you still have lime wash on that wall, please allow it to breathe. Um, remove drywall, um, remove acrylic paint if there is acrylic paint. If it's not, you are really lucky. Just remove drywall. Let that wall breathe. That wall is perfect as it is. Now, all of this we have to remove every single inch of plaster from this wall because there's just no other way uh, we can make this room uh, livable unless we seal it again with drywall and just ignore everything that's underneath. Um, so basically if you paint walls inside of, your, inside of your house with acrylic paint you are not doing absolutely anything good for your health, for your family's health your kids health I mean just please don't paint anything inside of your house with acrylic paint okay so th this is why okay so I just wanted to show you why you should not use acrylic paint on your walls inside of your house don't use it don't don't use acrylic paint at all okay just just don't use it for anything on your house outside inside regardless of um, you know what kind of wall you want to paint because eventually this is what will happen okay you will you will get mold you will not even know that you have mold and um, you know this will be seeping into your um, your air and this is what you will be breathing in so um, all right you guys let me know if you have any questions I am going to be making more of these videos because I think that people should know this um, this should be general knowledge and, uh, you know, prior to buying acrylic paint, they should explain, they, 
you know, sellers should explain to people what will happen if they apply acrylic paint onto their walls, okay? But then nobody would buy acrylic paint, so go figure. All right, you guys, hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.